Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about a really important topic, how to back up your computer. Let's start with your computer. You got your documents on there, you got your pictures, you need to back it up. So the first thing you need to do is go and get yourself an external hard drive. At this point, almost anything will do, read, read reviews and stuff like that, of course, but the most important thing is just to get one. So let's get you an external hard drive, plug it into your computer. Now, if you've got a Mac, you're good to go because the Mac has something called Time Machine, and it's already built into your Mac. And that's going to detect your hard drive and start backing up pretty much right away. If, you, when, if you've got Windows 7, it has something called Windows Backup and Restore, and that's pretty good too, better than nothing anyway. So what that's going to do is on a regular basis, Time Machine will do this automatically. Windows Backup and Restore, you can schedule it. It's going to automatically start copying your files over to your external hard drive. So if you do nothing else, that's what you need to do. If you want to take things a step further, I, I actually recommend this because the good thing about your having an external hard drive is that you're backed up. The bad thing is that your external hard drive is with your computer. So if you have theft or fire or flood or something else happens, you know, an electrical storm or something like that, you could lose both your computer and your backup, which kind of defeats the purpose. So what a lot of people do, myself included, is, is they do online backup. And you might hear that referred to as the cloud, so I'm going to do a terrible little cloud drawing here. And so what happens is, when you install the software, in the background it will upload your files over the internet to these other website secured services. So I use, uh, the one I use is called Crash Plan, but there's a lot of other ones. There's Carbonite, Mosey, Jungle Disk, Backblaze. There's a whole bunch of different services out there. But the good thing about this is that uh, your data is backed up off-site. So even if something happens to your physical location, you've got your stuff backed up online. And it can also be handy because you, in some cases, depending on your provider, you can you might be able to access your files uh, from a mobile device or, or off-site as well. But the important part is that it's backed up offline. Now, you might want to, you like the idea of having an off-site backup, but you don't really trust one of these online backup providers. And that's cool, I can understand that. So what some people do is they have a second hard drive, I'll just call it hard drive two, that they plug into their computer and they take that to a friend's house. So on some sort of regular basis they take this they take this hard drive, they unplug it, they walk it over to their friend's house or drive it over and then you know maybe a month later or, or whatever they'll get it back and do another backup. So that's a cool way too. Another option is also using that uh, service called Crash Plan. So what you can do is if you, uh, myself and my friend do this, if you install Crash Plan on your computer and you install Crash Plan on your friend's computer, uh, and this is totally free, what you can do is you can have Crash Plan back up from your computer to your friend's computer. And so, you know, you could have a hard drive attached to your friend's computer and set it to back up to that drive. So the good thing about that is that it goes over the internet, but your files aren't stored on CrashPlan server, your files are stored on your friend's computer. The other thing, good thing about it is that the data is encrypted. Which means even if your friend's nosy, they can't go in and look at your hard drive. It'll just look like a bunch of garbage to them. Now. One final option I want to talk about, and this is something I recommend if you have, you know, especially if you run a business or if you're in a situation where if you have a hard drive crash, you're in big trouble because you need to get things up and running as soon as possible. I recommend having a clone. So what that could be is you could either use a separate hard drive for this or you could use the same hard drive and do something called partition it but I won't get into the details of that. I'm just going to talk about cloning for now. And so what that means is you use a piece of software. If you're on the Mac, you use something like SuperDuper. 
that's what I use, or there's one called Carbon Copy Cloner. Um, if you're on Windows, the Windows uh, Backup and Restore that I was talking about can also make a system image for you. So what this does is it makes a complete mirror image of your, of your computer's hard drive on this clone hard drive. So what happens is, if your computer's hard drive dies, you can boot from this clone drive and all your files are exactly like they were on the computer. So you can get up and running right away. And then when your hard drive gets fixed, you just copy everything, restore everything back, and you're good to go. So those are some of the main options for doing backup of your computer. Uh, I recommend, at the, again, I recommend at the very least having an external hard drive. That is pretty much not optional, um, but everything else is a good thing to do to have some extra protection. And thanks, this is Brooks at documentsnap.com.